The search for Planet Nine, a hypothetical massive planet lurking beyond Neptune, has intrigued astronomers for years. Despite extensive efforts, this mysterious celestial body remains undiscovered. Recently, scientists proposed a groundbreaking approach, using a network of small telescopes to detect tiny stellar occultations caused by distant objects. This technique could finally reveal the presence of Planet Nine and deepen our understanding of the solar system's outer reaches. In this video, we'll explore the evidence for Planet Nine, the science behind this new method, and why it could be a game changer. The idea of Planet Nine first arose from peculiar patterns observed in the orbits of trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, celestial bodies far beyond Neptune. Researchers noted that these TNOs exhibited a clustering effect, where their orbits aligned in a way that couldn't be explained by chance alone. This led astronomers to hypothesize the existence of a massive, unseen planet exerting gravitational influence on these distant objects. In 2016, Konstantin Bedigan and Michael E. Brown presented a groundbreaking study that mathematically supported this hypothesis. They proposed that the hypothetical Planet Nine could be about 10 times the mass of Earth, orbiting the Sun at an extreme distance, 400 to 800 astronomical units, AU. For context, Neptune, the outermost known planet, orbits at a distance of just 30 astronomical units. The immense distance of Planet Nine makes it incredibly faint and difficult to detect directly. Simulations based on this hypothesis revealed that the gravitational pull of such a planet could explain the peculiar orbital clustering of certain TNOs. However, despite years of surveys and sky observations with powerful telescopes, no direct evidence of Planet Nine has been found. This lack of detection has fueled skepticism among some astronomers. They argue that the clustering effect could result from observational biases patterns arising simply because of the limited ways we observe the solar system, or from the combined influence of smaller, yet undetected objects in the outer reaches of the solar system. Adding to the debate, a 2021 study revisited the orbits of extreme TNOs and found no statistically significant evidence of clustering. The researchers concluded that the apparent patterns might be an artifact of the methods used to collect observational data rather than the influence of a massive, hidden planet. To overcome the challenges of directly observing Planet Nine, scientists have turned to an innovative approach, detecting its influence indirectly through stellar occultation. Occultation occurs when a distant object passes in front of a star, temporarily blocking or dimming its light. By monitoring these events, astronomers can extract critical information about the size, shape, and orbit of the intervening object. The proposed occultation array involves deploying 200 small telescopes, each with a 40-centimeter aperture, distributed across a network spanning 1,000 kilometers. These telescopes would work together to observe the sky from slightly different angles, capturing variations in occultation events this coordinated system would allow astronomers to detect subtle dimming of starlight caused by distant trans-Neptunian objects and other outer solar system bodies. Over a decade-long observation period, this array is expected to identify approximately 1,800 new TNOs. By analyzing their orbits, scientists could uncover patterns or anomalies indicative of the gravitational influence of a massive, unseen planet like Planet Nine. Simulations suggest that this method could confirm the presence of a five-Earth mass object up to 800 astronomical units from the Sun, making it a powerful tool in the search for Planet Nine. One of the most exciting aspects of this project is its affordability. The estimated cost of $15 million is remarkably low for an astronomical undertaking of this scale. This makes the project feasible and accessible, even for smaller institutions and international collaborations. Furthermore, the modular nature of the array ensures scalability and adaptability, allowing for future upgrades or expansions. 
This proposal is not just about Planet Nine. Its broader purpose is to enhance our understanding of the solar system's outer regions. Additionally, studying how sunlight alters the paths of these small bodies, through effects like the Yarkovsky effect, could refine our models of orbital dynamics and solar system evolution. Confirming the existence of Planet Nine would resolve one of astronomy's most intriguing mysteries and redefine our knowledge of planetary formation and dynamics. It would suggest that the solar system harbors more massive, undiscovered planets than previously believed, challenging existing models and offering new insights into how planetary systems evolve. Beyond the search for Planet Nine, the array has the potential to uncover thousands of new trans-Neptunian objects greatly expanding the database of known distant solar system bodies. With this expanded data set, astronomers can study the distribution, composition, and orbital characteristics of TNOs in unprecedented detail. This could shed light on the processes that shape the outer solar system and provide a clearer picture of its evolutionary history. The occultation array also holds promise for advancing our understanding of the Kuiper belt. This region, located beyond Neptune, is a reservoir of icy bodies and dwarf planets that preserve clues about the solar system's early days. By providing high-resolution data on Kuiper Belt objects KBOs, the project could reveal their sizes, shapes, and surface compositions, offering valuable insights into the building blocks of planets. Importantly, this project showcases the potential of cost-effective, scalable astronomical networks. By utilizing relatively small, affordable telescopes in a coordinated fashion, researchers can achieve results comparable to those obtained with more expensive, larger instruments. This democratizes access to cutting-edge research, enabling institutions around the world to contribute to significant discoveries. Recent developments have further highlighted the relevance of the Planet Nine search. In 2024, a new analysis provided the strongest statistical evidence yet for the existence of Planet Nine, identifying patterns in extreme TNO orbits consistent with the gravitational influence of a massive, unseen planet. Additionally, the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, scheduled to begin operations in 2025, is expected to play a key role in uncovering distant solar system objects. These efforts, combined with the proposed occultation array, underscore the growing momentum in the search for answers about the outer reaches of our solar system. By enabling discoveries that extend beyond our current understanding, the occultation array would leave a lasting legacy. Whether it confirms the existence of Planet Nine or uncovers other hidden wonders, this project represents a giant leap in our quest to explore the unknown. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content about space and beyond. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.